No water or low water pressure. That's when some Attleboro residents had to deal with for a good part of the day after a large water main break. The Pinpoint News Tracker bringing you to the intersection of Pearl Street and O'Neill Boulevard where the break happened early this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter has been tracking this situation. She joins us now live in studio with the details. New at 530. Courtney. Well, Caroline, that water is now back on, but residents tell me they spent the majority of the day without being able to shower or make a meal as crews work to fix that large water main break. Attleboro Mayor Paul Haro took to Facebook Tuesday morning, asking residents like Bill Don Levy to be patient. When I went to uh, wash the dishes, no water. And he wasn't the only one. Residents along Pearl Street had no water due to a water main break on Pearl Street and O'Neill Boulevard. It started a little after 4 a.m. I've been here 50 years in this house. Nothing like this. Due to the size of the break, others experienced low water pressure in that area of the city. And according to a notice sent to residents by the city, even though water service is restored, there may be some water discoloration. The Department of Water said in a statement. The city is now replacing nine feet of an eight inch pipe. Sometimes a break just happens. We do have an aging infrastructure. The city says local businesses were not affected. It happens sometimes and in any city, town, whatever. You know, some of these pipes now could be older than me. Now the city is asking anyone that is experiencing discolored water for longer than 24 hours to call the water department. And you can find that number on WPRI.com. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.